We are gathered here today for the wedding of Rosalie Gill and Marshall Wheel. I think I can speak not only for myself, but for everyone else in attendance today by expressing my excitement for these two to finally tie the knot. I'd like to ask everyone to take a moment to remember why we are gathered here today and to think about what it is that makes this couple so special to each one of us. I met Rosalie uh, at dinner with Marshall, and the first thing I noticed about them is how easy and comfortable they were together. And she was very friendly. It was as if I had known her. It's something that you always look forward. And I know that, that She's making a wise choice because he, when you see them together, interacting, you really could tell they love each other. I just immediately uh, was very happy that they had met each other because she was just so happy. I, I don't think I'd ever seen her happy that way and that's all I, all I needed. You meet some people and you know they want to give you a handshake or just say hello and immediately he you know went for a hug and that, I don't know, that says a lot to me. He's, he's such a good companion, he cares about his loved ones so much so I'm excited for him to um, be able to share that with somebody for his life. so great together. I'm, I'm so excited for what their future is going to be. Um, I think that because they care for each other so much and are always thinking about each other and not necessarily themselves, that they're going to have a very, very happy future. Okay, go ahead and take a sip. Marshall, do you take Rosalie as your wife before your friends and family to commit your love to her, to grow with her, and to have faith in your journey together through all the changes that will come, to nurture and strengthen the love between you as long as you both shall live? I do. Rosalie, do you take Marshall as your husband before your friends and family to commit your love to him, to grow with him, and to have faith in your journey together through all the changes that will come? to nurture and strengthen the love between you as long as you both shall live? I do. Rosalie, I promise to love you, to honor and cherish you, to respect and support you, and to be patient with you. I, almost, I also promise to make you Pastina when you're not feeling well, to tell you if you have something in between your teeth, and to give you water when you've had too much to drink, even if you don't want it. <laughs> Marshall, I promise to love you, to honor and cherish you, to respect and support you, and to be patient with you. I also promise to stick with you through your countless hours of guitar practice, your screaming at TV during hockey and football season, and even when you leave hairs on the sink after shaving. <laughs> by the authority vested in me by the state of California, it gives me great joy to pronounce you husband and wife. Marshall, you may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen.
gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the main event of the evening. We are live. Introducing first in the groom's corner, presenting Michael, Mr. As they walk down the aisle of love forever, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Marshall Just such a genuine, genuine, kind person. Who really cares about family. She's, I trust her 100%, um, and that's a good, good feeling to have. And so, um, those things combined just won me over instantly. And she's as beautiful inside as she is outside, and uh, you know that says a lot. See us growing very, very old together and being super silly and weird and just having lots of travels and going to lots of concerts and just rocking out, you know. <laughs> it was just all the little things that he does to really make you feel important that I looked at him and I was like, you're the one, you know. I, I like you all the time, we get along. I, it's just amazing. I, my heart melted for the first time with him, and I knew 